If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I have some exclusive images of the new Adept Raid Weapons. But before we get into it, a massive shout out to a pal of mine over at Zyro TV, a German based YouTube channel, for supplying me with these images. Okay, so I have 14 Adept Exotic New Age of Triumph Raid Weapon screenshots and fuck me, do they look amazing compared to the standard ones. So let's get into it. And the first one we have is this Atheon's epilogue. I actually believe this is the first time we've seen it, a true beast of a weapon. This thing offered void burn and was amazing for that PvE, it really was. Next up we have the Fate Bringer. Now we've seen this a few times within yesterday's stream um, and it does look sexy, I'm not going to lie. Definitely a weapon I'm looking forward to getting. Next up we have the Vision of Confluence. This was by far my favourite weapon from the Water Glass. While well, most preferred the Fate Bringer, this was my baby and I think it looks fucking beautiful in the new silver and gold colours. Next up we have uh, the Oversoul Edict. This is the Cruelty's End Pulse Rifle. This offered Arc Burn back in the day and will do when it returns with the Age of Triumph. Now when I saw these Cruelty's End Raid weapons via the stream yesterday, I didn't see much of a difference uh, in the Adept versions from the standard ones back in the day, but it's clear now there is a difference. It's kind of like a dark bluey purple highlight to them, looking fucking sweet. Next up we have the Abyss Defiant, this is a Crotus End Auto Rifle and it offered Solar Burn. This had the perk Focus Fire but it could actually be switched at any point with another perk. Next up we see the Fang of Eryut, the Crotus End Scout Rifle. This weapon offered Art Burn and would actually mark a target when you land a shot, an actual great scout rifle. Next up we have the Word of Crota, this being the hand cannon. This offered art burn and actually I enjoyed using this hand cannon, one of the very few I did like for PvE because it isn't that many. Next up we have King's Fall weapons. Now the burns these offer at the moment I am unsure of, but we still get to see them in their new sexual glory. This being the Anguish of Droysten. Next up we have the Smite of Moraine, one of my favourite PvE weapons from year 2. I absolutely love this thing. Next up we have the Zaoli's Bane, the hand cannon. To be honest, I never really use this much. I know it suffered with a real slow reload time, which put a lot of people off, including me. Next up we see a few of the Wrath of the Machine Adept Exotics, starting with the Chaos Dogma. Like the King's Fall weapons, at the moment I am unsure of the burns they will offer, but I do love the new colour added to these. Look amazing. Next up we see the Fever and Remedy, looking fucking sweet as fuck. Another hand cannon I never really used. Next up we have my current favourite PvE weapon, the Genesis Chain. I am super interested to see which burn this thing offers. I am hoping it's Solar Burn, but either one I don't really care, but it does look damn sure good in its new colours. And last but not least we have the Steel Medulla, the Wrath of the Machine Pulse Rifle. Actually a fan favourite, so many people love this thing. Me on the other hand, I didn't quite feel it and much preferred the Genesis Chain. But guys, those are some of the new exotic adept weapons coming with the Age of Triumph. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like is much much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here, turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand